Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something a little different. As you can tell, I am not fishing, I will not be grilling, and I'll be trading in a can of beer for a glass of milk. Intrigued? Well, I hope so, because today we are going to be making, or rather attempt to be making, our very own hot sauce. Now, just as a disclaimer, I have never made my own hot sauce before. I have never even attempted to make my own hot sauce before. And furthermore, we are not even gonna be following a recipe. We are just gonna be winging it today and hope for the best. I don't even know that much about the different hot peppers, to be honest. I literally walked into the grocery store and picked out whatever they happened to have at the time. So we're just gonna cross our fingers and <laughs> hope that it works out here because I have no idea what I am doing. Okay, well, I'm not gonna say I have no idea what I'm doing. I do know some of the common ingredients that are usually associated with hot sauces, but when it comes to preparing and cooking and the ratio of ingredients, I'm pretty much in the dark here. So, <laughs> hey, we're just gonna cross our fingers and hopefully it turns out. And if it doesn't, this may be a video on what not to do when making your own hot sauce. You never know, maybe it'll turn out and be great and I'll have a new recipe to make my own sauce and that would be great. But I'm going in with no expectations here. And at the very least, I hope it's entertaining for you guys. So to get started, we've got a few different peppers here. We've got our kind of standard run of the mill jalapeno that most people are familiar with. Spicy, but not crazy spicy. We have serrano peppers, which are a similar heat to the jalapeno, maybe a little bit spicier. And because I want that little extra kick, these are Thai chilies. Now, they are fairly spicy from what I understand. I think they're maybe somewhere around a habanero kind of spice level, maybe just below that. But literally, I, did, I could have grabbed habaneros from the grocery store, but I'm just like, eh, you hear a lot about habaneros. Let's just grab the Thai chilies and, you know, for something different. Oh, and picked up a can of these, chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. I don't know anything about these. I do like chipotle sauce, so there's that. So maybe we'll add them in and I'll add a little extra flavor to the sauce. Who knows? We'll see. I don't know if I want to try these before we throw them in the sauce, just so we have an idea of how spicy they are and how many of each we want to throw in there. I probably should. I probably should try them just to see how hot they actually are. So, we are going to wash them first. Give them a good scrubbing. I'm a little concerned about these Thai chilies. I'm not exactly sure how hot they are. All right, let's get my milk ready. And let's give these a little taste test. Now, jalapenos, pretty standard. Tiny little bit of heat there. Not even much spice at all. I think the jalapenos are gonna be more for flavor than anything. Let's try the Serrano. Definitely have a different flavor to them. Definitely have a little more spice to them. I kinda. Flavor-wise, these actually taste similar to kind of like a, a normal bell pepper, but with more spice. Hmm. And now, the Thai chili. Let's just get ready for this. Ha <laughs> 
<coughs> so they're quite a bit spicier than the other ones. This is why I brought the milk. Dang. Those are spicy. And I'm going to have to remember, working with these peppers, not to touch my eyes. Because that would probably be rather unpleasant. Oh my goodness. Woo! <laughs> Those have a kick to them. Let me tell you. And funny enough, I probably have... Well, I definitely have more of the Thai chilies than I do of the Serrano and the jalapeno peppers. This may be a rather hot sauce. Okay, so let's get started. Let's get a pot. Well, actually, before we do that... Now, to my understanding, there's a few different ways to make hot sauce. If you have the time and want to put in the effort, I believe some people ferment their peppers over days or weeks, probably just to get more spice, more flavor out of them. If it's because to get more spice out of them, I think we'll be okay there. What we're gonna do, we're gonna chop up all our ingredients, throw them in a pot, boil them for a bit to get some of that flavor out, blend it all up, and see what happens. So, we're gonna grab a pot. <clears throat> and now we're just going to slice up all of our peppers. So we're gonna cut the stems off. And you're gonna cut one lengthwise. And then we're just gonna throw it in the pot. Seeds and all, we'll deal with that later. All right, chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. I don't know, let's, let's try. Hmm, looks like there's some onions and some other things in there. Oh, whoop. It smells chipotle-ish. Oh yeah, there's that chipotle flavor. Mm. That is really good. <clears throat> that is really good. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so we have all our peppers cut up and thrown in the pot. Now it comes for the other ingredients. Now. <clears throat> It seems like most people put garlic in their hot sauce. Seems to be a pretty reasonable ingredient to add. The question is how much? It's so like I said, I, I don't know any ratios or what I'm supposed to be putting in here, so. Three cloves? Three or four, I don't know. I do enjoy garlic, but I don't want it to take over. Three cloves. We'll go with three cloves. Three cloves of garlic. Hmm. 
Okay, so we got our garlic and I think we are going to add some onion because, well, onion adds flavor to sauces, so uh, why not? Okay, garlic in, onion in, peppers in. What else? Salt. How much salt? Let's see, how much salt? Half a teaspoon? Okay. Half a teaspoon salt. All right, so, so far, we got our peppers in there, we've got garlic, we've got onion, we've got salt. What else does it need, if anything? Hmm. Let's check the fridge. Let's see what's in there. Let's see here. Lime juice. This seems like something that would go with spicy, right? A little bit of lime? Eh, why not? Why not? And two squirts of lime juice. Now, from what I understand, kind of the base of hot sauce is vinegar. I got some plain white vinegar, so I hope that works. All right, so just plain white run-of-the-mill vinegar. I'm not exactly sure how much to use. Kind of need enough that it boils everything. Try one cup. One and a half cups. I hope that isn't too much. Okay, so I think that's all I want to add. I don't really know what else to add. I don't want to make it too complicated. So, hey, that's it. We're going to leave it. Okay. Going to get that boiling. We're going to get that boiling. <laughs> Now that we've got all the ingredients in the pot, we're gonna get that boiling. I'm not sure how long to let it boil for. We're just gonna kinda feel it out, I guess. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing, guys, like I mentioned. So I really hope this turns out for you guys and this is something that you guys can try. But uh, right now, um, we may just skip to when it's all boiled and then we'll go from there so that's how we're looking thus far so guys had that boiling for about 15 minutes too little too much right who knows but this is what we now have I don't know, looks pretty good. Smells pretty good. Smells spicy. So we're gonna let that cool a little bit and then we're gonna toss it in the blender and then we're gonna make some hot sauce. Okay, so here we go. Do not splash in my eye.
Not bad. A little vinegary, but pretty good. Hot sauce. You know, all in all said, considering I didn't know what I was doing, I think it's pretty good. A little vinegary. I might next time I might lay off on the vinegar a little bit and just add a bit of water, but I kind of like it. It's got that little bit of a chipotle hint to it. Spicy, but not crazy hot. I think we did okay, guys. Well, there you have it, guys. Your very own brand of bass beer and BBQ hot sauce. Turned out pretty good. In the future, I might try and tweak it a little bit. Maybe do a little less vinegar and a little more water instead. But I think it was pretty good for our first shot at it. So I encourage you guys all to give it a try. It's not hard to make. Make it your own. Try some different ingredients. Try some different peppers. I encourage you all to give it a try and uh, give your grilling a little spice or a little kick next time. I'm going to have to get a few different hot sauce connoisseurs to give it a try and see what they think. But all in all, I think we did pretty good. This has been another episode of Bass Beer and BBQ. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you all. Feel free to like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video.